the big vision is actually how do we get some of these marginalized people into the financial right. ecosystem and that's the bigger picture which we call financial inclusivity so essentially you're chasing also one of the objectives would be a you know physical cashless world is that the big i would vision? like to think uh, slightly differently i would not term it as a cashless because we have never seen a cashless technically sure. anywhere sure. so it would be less cash you know reducing the use of cash it should be for at least for the foreseeable future right but the, the, the second thing is the big vision is actually how do we get some of these marginalized people into the financial right. ecosystem and that's right. the bigger picture which we call financial inclusivity right because there are lots of uh, i mean uh, if you look at the sri lankan demographics 19.1% is urban and more than 80% is rural right so all this time at least in the past we have been catering to western province only mm. especially with the technology and all that now but now with the smartphone and also thanks to covid where people had to get into e learning and other things using smartphones we are seeing propagation of technology into this area pockets because if you have technology in somebody's hand getting them to use it is a simpler task than somebody who's not having technology right possible. so that's why we are also very selective how do we take it because there are different technologies now for example if you even take this phones there are feature phones and smartphones mm. right and you know feature phones are good to make a call mm. but if you ask somebody to make a payment using a feature phone it's very cumbersome it's not convenient mm. it's simpler to use with cash So that's why we we want to see rather than try to boil the ocean, mm. let's go behind low hanging fruit and convert the majority. So our target is at least if we can convert thirty percent of the cash transactions into digital, we have gone wrong. Mm.